Prior to this game, Lance McCullers had not given up a single home run on 651 off-speed pitches through the regular season and the playoffs. So something was going on last night. And as I promised you, Todd is going to show you what it was. That's the biggest thing, the biggest tell. They're hitting home runs off his off-speed pitches, which is his nastiest pitcher. Let's go to the first one. As we see, the glove is up and down. There's a little space in between. Boom. Harper saw that. Now from the back angle, it's a little easier to see, as we can tell. The glove is the biggest key here. Now the glove is actually behind his head. It's curved, and you can tell a big difference in the fastball, the two-seamer. Now, he was doing this with the changeup with the off-speed as well as with the fastball. And let's take a look. So, boom, glove up and down on one side for off-speed, glove tilted to the right and behind his head for the fastball. It's really that simple. I mean, if you're in fifth grade and you're 12 years old and you can't understand this, hmm. simple. Look, and there's actually space in between here, and there's no space in between here from his head to his glove. That's actually another tell. Look at that. It's a huge, huge tell. Up and down, space, curved, no space is a fastball. As we could see, and these guys didn't miss. How are you going to hit that many home runs off pitches that he's most dominant at, and he hasn't done it before in over 500, 600 pitches? It's extraordinarily well done. And look, if anyone would understand the benefit of knowing what pitch is coming, it's the Houston Astros. So uh, we can look at it that way. Very l nice. Let me throw another thought at you here. How commonplace is something like that? I, I would assume you guys, and by you I mean hitters, pitching coaches, etc., you're always looking for things like that. How frequently do you find something you feel that strongly about? Very, very. We have guys, guys that don't play during the game. They go and they study in the background on their computers. They come back and say, hey, we got something. I had a great hitting coach in Chili Davis who would study this hours and hours on end. And guess what? Harper told him, he said, listen, Alec, let's go, dude. We understand this. And there's some guys that don't want to believe in it. And guess what? The baseball's too hard. So guess what? Give me 60, 70 percent right, I'm going to take it and go with it. And so quickly here, and we'll have more time to talk later about that, what, what does this mean for the rest of the series? It, 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 it does not... It suggests the Phillies figured out something in McCullers. I don't know that it necessarily leads to more success going forward. Are the Phillies in control of the World Series right now? They are in control. I mean, yesterday's in the past now. They had a great tell on McCullers, but right now we've got to focus on Aaron Nola. Is he going to step up, or is it going to be the Aaron Nola of last game they had in Houston? So he has to figure it out. He does better at home, so we'll see Philly again, man. I got them to win tonight, too, as well.